everyone, I'm Sarah Wallace with Usborne Books and More. Um, my upline leader Erica nominated me for Consultant of the Week. Um, thanks Erica and congratulations on your promotion to te senior team leader. That's so exciting. I'm so happy for you. Um, just to give you a little bit of information about myself, um, I am an English teacher. I teach middle school and high school English, um, so that's kind of why this job was perfect for me. I have a passion for literacy. Um, I live in southwest Wisconsin, and I am married. I have two kids. One um, is two. His name's Connor, and my baby daughter was just born in June this past year. Um, I joined in February of 2016. And I, I feel like I've been doing pretty good with my business. I'm really happy with where it's at. Of course, I'm looking forward to doing more and getting better, but for right now, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Um, I earned my success kit one and two before my incentive period ended. Um, and I just really love the direct selling business, I guess. I've, I mean, considered other opportunities before this one, but this one was the one for me. Um, I learned about Usborne in February and joined at my party two weeks later from my friend's party. So um, it was kind of a fast transition, but it was so much fun. And I feel like um, my why, my passion for literacy, the why I decided to join in the first place has been something really helpful for me to draw from to keep going, especially during these kind of slow summer months when it's like everybody's busy, parties aren't as successful, um, and I know it's kind of a bummer when you don't hit good numbers or the number you're shooting for each month, but um, I think the other side of that is just recognizing that there's always going to be ups and downs no matter what you take on, um, and just celebrating your ups when you're up and just making plans for when you're down. That's kind of what I do. I just, you know, figure, okay, if I didn't make my goal this month, I'm going to have another chance next month. And so here we go. What can I do differently? Um, and so some of the things I've been doing personally have been trying to research some of those other opportunities besides just Facebook parties because you really don't have to be limited to just relying on online Facebook sales. Um, I did my first vendor show last weekend and <laughs> the turnout wasn't great. Honestly, there was maybe a handful of people that came, um, but I mean, it's August. People are busy and they have so much to do. And so it didn't really discourage me. Actually, I learned a lot about what I will do differently for my next vendor opportunity because I brought four boxes of books. I didn't have room to put anything. My books kept blowing over, so I couldn't stack things like I had planned. And so, I mean, you you learn to everything no matter what the turnout is. Um, and so the other thing is, I just wanna say, another thing that's helpful for me is being willing to reach out. Even if you feel like you're the only one, like everyone else is doing so good and I'm not doing good, what can I do? Um, reach out to your upline, reach out to your sponsors, and they can give you ideas. Um, I mean, I'm dabbling in the cards for a cause right now. I have two groups who are interested. I just kind of posted out there on Facebook, hey, if you need a fundraiser for your group, check this out. And I posted one of the pictures of the, the boxes and two people just contacted me and said, hey, this looks like a great opportunity. And so I guess that's the other thing that is really helpful is just being willing to consider the other options. Um, and of course, there's always going to be questions when you try those things, but you got to try them in order to find things out. And that's I'm okay with doing that. That's part of my personality is, you know, I'm not afraid to try. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But then you just got to figure out a way to get back up to where you want to be. Um, and so that's kind of a little bit about me, a little bit about how I run my business. And um, I hope that maybe you've taken something away from it. And if you ever have any questions, I'm happy to try and brainstorm with you. Um, so yeah, so if you ever need anything, just let me know. Have a great day.